but also a virtual classroom. This is the future in any way you look at it. High school students in Hillsborough are blurring the lines of reality with revolutionary HoloLens technology. We'll go behind the lens a little bit later. Tonight, really. <laughs> thanks, Cindy. You're welcome. Now to a New Brunswick high school that is stepping into a virtual world thanks to incredible new HoloLens technology. Caledonia Regional High School is the first in the province and one of only a handful across the country to receive the high-tech setup. And from new apps to tiny homes, students are pushing the limits of mixed reality. CTV's Candy Kepke takes us behind the lens. It may look crazy to those unfamiliar with the HoloLens. But in this case, it's what you don't see or hear that counts. This is our home, but we are small part of a bigger picture, which is a small part of an even bigger picture. The HoloLens headset mixes 3D computer graphics and surround sound with the real world. And now it's being put to use at Hillsborough's Caledonia Regional High School. They can build a bridge in, in SketchUp and all of a sudden bring it into the room and analyze it in live time as big as they want in the actual room. We can build buildings, Moncton's new rink, we can design anything and bring it to life on a table or full size in our school. The headset also delves into nearly every subject the school offers. History, biology, and even getting students moving during games like Robo Raid. What you're seeing is pure magic. You can put this thing on, do a few finger pinches, and all of a sudden you're transported to Rome, Italy, uh, or you're walking with dinosaurs. It was breathtaking. It was like, I'm in a whole different world. This is the future. The HoloLens is just amazing. The school is the first in New Brunswick and one of only a handful across North America that has a HoloLens. It was selected to receive the software last winter by the nonprofit Brilliant Labs, thanks to its students' work in developing apps and other technology. And the school has already put it to work. Grade 9 and 10 students actually used the HoloLens last semester to design a tiny home that grade 12 students eventually built. And a new crop of students are already working on new homes that could be built later this year. Artistically inclined students hope to use the headset to convert their artwork into a digital gallery. Invisible to the naked eye, but plastering the walls of the school through the hollow lens. Now I can basically digitalize my art and now I can share it with the world. Mixed reality technology continues to evolve, but these students know they're seeing the future through a brand new lens. Cami Kepke, CTV News, Hillsboro, New Brunswick. It's fascinating. I know, and just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Imagine 15, 20 years from now, can't even imagine. You'll be watching us on those lenses, maybe. <laughs> maybe not us, but somebody. <laughs>